Welcome back to Let's Play Ganonko 2. Last time we went through Witty Cave Name and ended up in Desolation. Alright, so... This is a place where we want to use the Lens of Truth, and we see we can go down there, but... I'll show you a little secret. If you follow these skulls right here like this... Walk over to the next skull, and go up. Just follow the blue skull like this. Just keep going this way. Watch out for the cactus there, of course. And then go up here. We arrive at a secret little building here. But, I'm not gonna go in there. <laughs> if you wanna see what's in there, go check it for yourself. I'm not gonna go there yet. Because I'm very, very unprepared for what's in there. Let's just say. If you can beat what's in there, good for you. Okay, so left. Let's fill up our magic a little bit. And go le left again. Have to think a little bit before I say left or right because I get, I get confused sometimes. What can I say? Okay, left again. Left again. If you go up, down, or right, maybe not right, but uh, if you go up or, like say on this screen, if you go up or left, and maybe right too, back to where you came from, you'll end up at the first screen again, so be careful. <clears throat> but if you happen to say wind up at the beginning again, just open the map and you'll be able to see which path to take. Easy peasy. Okay, so on this screen we need to go right. And down, thought so. Right, yep. Down again, I think. No, right. More fires. Okay, this one is down. Well, if I haven't mentioned before, the background music here is some song from Dizzy Rascal, the British rapper. <laughs> It's funny hearing his British accent when he raps. And he raps pretty fast, too. I don't know, he's pretty good. Even if you don't like rap that much. I'd say give a listen. Alright, and we're in the southern overworld. I guess I spoiled that, uh... Earlier. <laughs> that there's a southern overworld, but there is, so... And now that we're here, we can get a very, 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 well, kinda, sorta, no, very, very important item, which is the whistle, so I think I'm gonna go for that right away. Oh, these darn Octorox. Stop it! Stop it! And I think this is a fairy fountain, or not. Okay, for some reason it's all the way down there. And we'll just go over this bridge here. And we have the Southern Overworld. Uh, just to the north, I think, would be the Bass Root and Bridge if you need to go to the Northern Overworld for any reason right now. <clears throat> I don't think there's too much reason to go up there for now, but... Here's the town in the southern overworld, and here's the library. I'll explore that later. Right now it's whistle time. To get to the whistle, we just go around the back of the town here. 
and we need to get into that cave there. I'm getting lots of money. Always need money. Money is good. And the Whistle Dungeon is another time dungeon. This time, it's time to... How fast you can beat the enemies. If you don't beat them fast enough, you have to start over. Okay. Whew, just made it. Stalfos. Ah, come on. Kill him, kill him. Whew, just made it again. No, no! Okay, I have to start the stream over again. Always use the warps. Or else you will have to start the entire dungeon again if you go out the door. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's those were stairs there, and I went up the stairs, and I went back down the stairs, which caused me to start the dungeon over again. Not good. Uh, I think a good strategy here also is to go bottom of the room to top. That way you'll be able to to get to the door quicker once you kill all the enemies. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Okay, I need full health, please. Okay, I should be able to do this. I hope. I hope if I had the bow and arrows, I guess. <clears throat> okay. And what those warps do basically are create a entrance exit um, warp from the screen so that the enemies will be guaranteed to respawn because the enemies will always respawn when you enter and leave a dungeon. Even if you don't kill them all. So basically you're entering and leaving the dun or leaving and re-entering the dungeon by going into those warps. Just from a technical standpoint. Okay, these uh, these guys will respawn, so careful not to let them. <laughs> ah, damn it. Yeah, see once I come back in here. All these guys will be alive again. Okay, last guy. Ah, oh, phew, made it. Okay. Ah, oh, now respawning fires. Or the triple fires, sorry. As they're known. Well, that was easy. Now I just have to beat these guys and I get my reward. Hooray! <laughs> Okay, don't die, please. Please, please, please. Please, 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 please. No, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. And we get the whistle! So now we can just leave. Which I will do. Gratefully. <laughs> Need some health back now. I do not need pea hats, thank you. Oh, give me a heart. Okay, so let's explore the town a little bit for now. Let's see what's in here. The stitzes. 
Why are you precocious petite pink pixie? I'm not pink. And I'm not precocious either. Like that guy was saying in the other village, people with names in the uh, mini-maps are important people that you should remember, and you'll need to remember her name for a lot later. Like a lot later, end of game type later. Okay, so anyone over here? I think this is a fairy fountain, which I actually need a little bit. <laughs> And we have this is the last house. Looks like it. This is another shot. Satisfaction guaranteed. And for completion's sake, let's just go on this screen, even though there's nothing. So let's go into the library. Get some background. Somebody painted over paint, painted wood, and where they stood, no one stands. In that book there was some background on why Vance Ganondor Ganonchuk was Goronchuk. Vance Goronchuk was puking all the time. And there's more background there. Yeah, so he was sort of like a resistance against Gan and Co, so they built the vomit factory to make him puke all the time. Seems a little bit uh, overkill for, you know, trying to get back at somebody, but that's what Gan and Co does. And I'm guessing there's something secret over here. Duh. Magic jar. Okay, so can't get through there. If I've been on this screen, I think so. Yep. Okay, so some more background. History of Overworld Volume 2. And that's what happened after the last game, after Trouble at Ganon Co. until now. So, uh, yeah, it's a time of peril now, I guess. So all the Triforce pieces scattered, and now the CEO or the boss or whoever is after it. And he's getting us to do all his dirty work. And that's talking about where the sixth level is. Oh, nothing there. What about here? I'm guessing it's a waste of time to check that one. Yep. <clears throat> mm, let's see what this has to say. Yeah, and that's just basically tech or hints about how to get the whistle. And that's talking about the slash ability from Trouble at Ganon Co. and how to get it in this game. <laughs> yeah, that's taken directly from Return to Zork, from their library thing there, in the mayor's office. That's so Raven. Alright, so I'll show you how the whistle works, and let's go do that little, little cave that was uh, just over 
here. Or close to here, I guess. Which way would be faster? Yeah, this would be faster. Yeah, this cave right here. Since we have the whistle, we can get these dig doggers. Okay, it's a miracle I haven't been hit so far. And I spoke too soon. Oh boy, did I ever speak too soon. Hit somebody, please. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I'm still... Damn it! Ah. Wow, that sucks. Let's try it one more time, please. Then I'll end the video. Ugh. I was doing so well, too. And these graphics are taken from Civilization 1. When you do it, when you play the game in like 16 color, I think. Oh well. It's a little anticlimactic, but I'll end the episode here and I will see you next time on Let's Play Gan and Co. 2, and next time we will, I guess, explore more of the Southern Overworld. So see you later.